Welcome to Ben Collins Art. In this video, I want to show you step by step how to paint a simple tree using acrylic paints, just a few brushes, and a few easy to learn techniques. This may not be the exact method that you would learn in art school, but it's easy and it's fun, and I hope you'll give it a try. Now I've already painted in a basic background of a sky with a field and I've let that dry so I can draw on it. And I'm just going to draw the basic shape that I want the tree to achieve overall. I don't always draw it on the canvas before I paint it. Uh, usually I just have a design in mind. But it's a good idea to draw it when you're starting out because it'll kind of keep you on track. I'm going to draw some ovals here to kind of represent where I want the clusters of leaves and limbs to be. This will give it more of a 3D look and it'll also show me where to put my highlights and shadows. For the trunk and the limbs, I'm going to use a couple of script liner brushes. These are synthetic. Uh, the larger one is a number 3 and the smaller one is a number 03. For the trunk, I'm going to use the number 3 and I'm going to start by mixing just some black and burnt umber. I want this to be about as dark as I can get it and still be brown. At this point the color is not important, all that really matters is that I get a good dark value. I want to get a lot of water in this and get it really thinned down about the consistency of ink. I like using these styrofoam plates as palettes, they keep the water from running all over the place. Now I'm going to start painting this tree trunk at the bottom. The idea here is that as you go from the ground up, everything is going to get thinner and thinner. The thickest part of the tree is where it meets the ground. One of the mistakes that beginners often make is to make the limbs the same size as the trunk or to make them even bigger than the trunk and it just looks unnatural. Now I'm going to start inside the trunk and with each one of these limbs they're going to go out to one of my ovals that I drew earlier. This is going to go to where my cluster of leaves are. Now once I get the main limbs in I'm going to switch to the smaller brush and make the smaller limbs. For the smaller limbs, you want to make sure you have plenty of water in your paint. It needs to be, like I said, about the consistency of ink so that it can flow right. Now, as you make these limbs, you want them to get smaller and smaller. One way to do that is to kind of twist or roll the brush between your fingers so it rolls it to a sharp point as you get out towards the end. You may also notice that towards the end of the limb, I'll kind of go upward. Uh, trees like to grow towards the sun. Even when the limb gets heavy with leaves, the limb may go down, but at the very end it will kind of grow up towards the sun. Now I'm using my ovals as a guide to see where to put these clusters of limbs, because that's where my leaves are going to sit. And But I'm not letting those restrict me. If I want to go over my line, I can. Now most of this will be covered up in the next steps. But I wanted to do it so you can kind of see how it works, and if it does show through, it will look right. Thanks for watching. Follow the link to part two of this series, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Mm -hmm.